Hi, welcome to Align Therapy. I'm Dave Butler, and I today want to go on a little bit of a rant. Uh, recently, I've been dealing with some insurance contracts. I've been dealing with some uh, issues, over, really, over the last 10 years, we've been dealing with issues regarding insurance and insurance is dropping reimbursement and requiring more things of us as physical therapists. Uh, so I, I, that's been on the forefront of my mind. But I wanted to talk about specifics on why this matters in scoliosis treatment and spinal tr treatment in, in general because because it does. It's, it's definitely something that is affecting my profession specifically right now. And I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, we, we talk a lot about where to go for good treatment and how, how we should determine what, uh, you know, where, where to be, to be treated for scoliosis and spinal deformities. And I really think that, um, if we're being treated for spinal deformities and scoliosis, we should be treated by someone who is trained in a specific method to treat scoliosis. So uh, that kind of goes in line with um, the training and expense involved and, and things like that. So I wanted to talk a little bit about insurance and bear with me, it gets a little bit, a little bit rough, but I, I'm just going on a rant here because I am so sick of insurance companies, as you are probably as well. Insurance companies restrict where you can go for treatment. They restrict uh, how many visits you can get. They um, we're paying premiums every month for what? We don't get hardly anything for for paying our premiums. Our deductibles are rising. I mean, all of this. This is all something that is definitely a problem in our society and definitely a problem with you and me and and all sides of this coin and uh it's the insurance companies that are making the money if their profits haven't changed they've actually gone up and it's the rest of us who are are uh are suffering for that so sorry about the rant <laughs> but i'll get back to the subject at hand so if we have uh, a, a treatment uh, process in physical therapy, let's say just one physical therapy treatment. So it costs a certain amount to provide a physical therapy treatment. Let's say in an ideal world, we have hour-long treatment, hour long treatments and the physical therapist is the one that is treating that person. So we would have the cost of the physical therapist, we'd have the cost of the receptionist, we'd have the utility cost, we would have, you know, all these costs associated with that. So let's say, just to, to make it easy numbers, let's say that cost comes to, let's say $100. So $100 for, for that, that treatment to, to, be, to be performed. So in business, we would want to make more than that $100 to keep the doors open, to buy equipment, update things, pay our staff, uh, keep up with inflation, all of that. So we should see, you know, some something up here above $100 is what we should be making per treatment to make that worthwhile. Uh, it wouldn't make much business sense to go down into the red and accept $90 for a treatment. So if we accept $90 for a treatment, we're losing $10, right? So this is just goes to, to business 101, right? We, we want to make more than we spend. And the problem is in physical therapy and in the medical profession in general, but specifically physical therapy, because we're at a distinct disadvantage, uh, just because we're lower on the totem pole. That's another rant that I'll have another day. But we, we don't, with insurance companies, we don't set the rate that they pay us. And there are many, many insurances who pay down, down here in the red. So, you know, they'll pay $80, they'll pay $65. They, these are close to normal numbers, but not, not totally. But if we're down into here, but it costs this much, if it costs $100 for that treatment, uh, what, what do we do? If insurance companies are paying us that much, but it costs this much, what do we do? So as a physical therapist and a business owner, I have two choices. I can either not take the insurances that are here, 
that are down down lower so that I'm still able to keep my doors open or and unfortunately this is where a lot of a lot of clinics go we reduce the quality of our treatment by reducing the amount of time the physical therapist spends with the patient by reducing uh, the 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 number the the real cost of that treatment by hiring aides and having high school students and and others come in and help people with exercises and and uh, treatment and then what happens is we get three uh, two to three sometimes even four patients in an hour that are packed in there to make up for the difference between these two numbers um, I you know that's something that's very common in physical therapy a lot of people have been to a physical therapist where they have an aid that sets them up on heat and electrical stimulation and then after that they do ultrasound and then after that they take them through a few exercises and then finally the physical therapist comes out and does some joint mobilization or some manual therapy on the patient for you know 10 minutes and then the patient is iced for another 10 to 15 minutes and so the majority of that treatment is not performed by the physical therapist and that physical therapist can see three, sometimes four patients in an hour. It might sound great as a business model, but as uh, a practitioner and uh, treating patients this way, this is not a good way to go. Uh, not that we can't get people better in that model, but we get people so much better in the model of refusing to allow insurance companies to pay this and providing the value of care that we really should be having real one-on-one -on -one treatment. Uh, you know, not just saying we do one-on-one -on -one treatment and then having it one-on-one -on -one with anyone in the clinic. Uh, providing good quality care that is by a physical therapist or a physical therapist assistant that's licensed. Someone that knows what they're doing, not someone who was just trained a couple of weeks ago on how to do ultrasound on a patient. So in my clinic, uh, we've started to take these insurances that are lower than our cost for delivering care and we've been dropping those insurances and we do that not because we want to make it more of a challenge on our patients but we would do that so that we can maintain the same level of care that we we've always done we've always uh, done what more one-on-one -on -one care i haven't relied on aids very much to do to do treatment in the past currently we don't employ any aids to help us or any technicians or any anything like that so for scoliosis specifically one-on-one uh, -on -one treatment is very important for a couple of reasons one is that it's a complex condition this isn't something that that uh, any all patients are the same each patient is different and we need to have that specific treatment and someone who knows what they're doing for all those different different uh, angles well angle with scoliosis all those different changes that happen with different scoliosis curves so we need someone who's been trained we need someone who's been certified and that certification costs a lot of money that insurance it, it, certification um, is time intensive and we we pay our therapists uh, quite a bit for that so taking a lower reimbursement and reducing our quality of care isn't an option in my clinic in most scoliosis clinics so a lot of scoliosis clinics have changed to more of a self-pay or cash pay model and there are so many benefits to that not just to the clinic but to the patient we can provide better service we can provide things without insurances restricting us or telling us oh you only have 10 visits to work with this or they don't have any pain so you can't really see them in physical therapy because what are you treating? So there's a lot of uh, a lot of benefits to a self-pay model with this, and a lot of benefits for me as a, a business owner. Uh, I'm not losing money while I don't well, while I'm not sacrificing the quality of my treatment. So we want our quality of of care to be at a really high level. If if the model that insurance companies uh, have kind of set in motion happens in physical therapy we end up having a lower quality of care but just doing more of those to to get that that revenue i don't know if that that makes sense but 
I wanted to talk about some of my feelings towards towards that right now. Uh, it's uh, a very common thing in physical therapy now to do some self pay self pay services, but it's not as common to provide a high level of service um, like this and really go out of network with those insurance companies. That's the only way we're going to give them the message that this model isn't working. I can't see three patients in an hour and get the same results that I get when I see them for a full hour. And the funny thing is, I usually see these patients less than uh, it, because I'm seeing them for longer, I can usually get treatment done in fewer visits than if they were going uh, somewhere else and being seen three times a week and being seen by aides and by, by uns I shouldn't say unskilled, but kind of unskilled people. So when you're looking for scoliosis treatment or any physical therapy treatment, really look into what type of treatment you're getting. Is it the standard, which unfortunately is the the PT mill, we call them, where they're just pushing people through. And if they're doing ultrasound on you, that should be a, a big clue. Ultrasound in the research doesn't do anything. Uh, but really look into how that quality of treatment is. And if you're happy with it, fantastic. You probably have a great therapist. If it's one-on-one -on -one with them and they're doing their best to get you better, fantastic. But if you feel like there's a better way, there probably is and you should look for someone who is invested in you and it is invested in themselves because that's really the only way that they can be invested in you. So my rant is over for today. There are some other things I probably will be ranting about, but um, insurance is one that's always on the top of my mind. If you have specific questions on scoliosis treatment or you have specific questions on how we uh, what insurances we take or anything like that, um, feel free to check our, out our website, aligntherapyutah.com. And you can also look, uh, you can also fill out a form on there where we can contact you and we can see if we can help you out. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you watching and until next time or until next rant.